It is recording. Are you sure? <laughs> Camera phone, take three. <laughs> right then, FTX Outback Fury. We're going to unbox and test this today. Yeah. We're going to compare it to Traxxas TRX4, which is over twice as expensive. And we're going to see where the extra money gets you. So, unbox it. Done. And there we go. We unboxed it properly in another video that didn't get video. <laughs> So and we decided version. it's um, very so, GP. It's very GP. It's got front and rear lights. It's got a full size motor, hobby wind speed controller. And it goes forwards and backwards. And then we can compare it to one of them. Which, um, so initially, the differences are. Traxxas feels more solid. This has switches to turn things on and off remotely. So that has lock diffs. This you can run around, tight turn in circle, and then go, right, I lock the diffs for an obstacle. This has got portal axles. That's got standard axles with the drive line coming straight out. But it's not, again, like I say, when you go in purely off-roading, you might as well leave the diffs locked anyway. I mean, is that lack of a button to do that worth, what, 200 pounds? You know, when you're actually conquering obstacles, you're gonna want oh, the diffs locked. In, 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 true. In true, but this is solid with wheel arches, and so this is all very open. Mm. I mean, one is obviously more expensive than the other. I think I'd rather bring that one home afterwards because that's going to be full of mud, and that's not because there's nowhere for it to get stuck. Oh, if you're in sloppy mud, mm. perhaps. So yeah, swings and roundabouts really. Oh yeah, and it comes with a packet of like windscreen wipers and a snorkel to put on, which is kind of cool. The snorkel is already fitted, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think the portal axle is about the only thing that's going to make a difference out of all that. Yeah, yeah, because they're like a gear reduction and a, a ride height increase in one. But I don't know how much, you know, all the difference that makes. But yeah, let's go try it out. Let's go test it. Mike's going to demonstrate his superb crawling skills. Fast. I don't think it's got the right height to get up this step. I'd be most disappointed if it didn't get up there. The turning circle is a bit poor. Turning circle is very ocean liner ish. Man, okay. You need to have like butterfly wing fingertip control on the throttle. But the world's worst call that the wheel wobble is quite. Nasty, I don't really like that. That's alright. You're used to them falling off, so you'll be alright. FTX Fury, first run in the dirt properly, and it's making some progress. That's fine. You have to put yours in low range to make it fair. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't it, have a choice. Yours is quite fast, though, isn't it? Technically, yeah. Okay, good. okay. The TRX is in low range. I've locked both differentials. I have previously locked, so I, I win the differential locking race. So, are we gonna? What I want is a big V8 soundtrack thing to go with that. So yeah. Not, but I don't want like a racy V8. I want like a thumpy V8. Thumpy V8. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think my steering servo is better. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> well. Oh no! Hit <laughs> manoeuvre. Let's do it again now. Next drag race. Hopefully we won't crash into each other. Three, two, one, go. 
Ja. You mean, bloody hell, it endos when you stop. It's not good. Anyone will, though. That's kind of cool. It's sort of like the opposite of torque twist. It's like brakey bounce. I'll put it to the stick straight away. Deforestation is real. Oh. So we headed through this way. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a good one to come up. I would say we'd get a jump out of there, but I don't think they're fast enough. Not with these. It would be nice to have sort of a, a quickish one, like, like sort of the Kevin Corbett ones. leave the ground. <laughs> Although we don't know if that battery's got any life in it. And it's not even a LiPo, is it? No, it's not. Actually, that's a good point for comparison's sake. This is on a, um, a NIM at the moment. Or it is. IPad. Oh yeah, but it will take 3S. Yeah. So, so that great a lot race more... might have been a bit different, actually. Yes. Just for, the, just for fairness, if anyone's actually watching this, about 20 years. I think this is pretty oh. much had it, this battery. Oh, is it? Oh, this is a cool bit, but I don't really want to get it wet. Oh. Where it's really light, it does look a bit fake compared to yours. Like, yours seems to go over stuff and the axles will twist. Yeah. Whereas where this is light, it's sort of... Yeah, I think the suspension is too hard. Boing, boing, boing. I think that suspension needs to be softer. We've well, probably... I think it's weight as well, because yours will actually be pushing down weight, and weight will help. Just goes over. Yeah, we could probably add some weight though, couldn't we? But it's, it's handling everything fine. It's just if you're looking for realism, you know, you could tell this was going to do a little bit. But I have got some extra. I know it looks quite realistic anyway, but... Yeah. You know, you could have two of those with change for the price of... One TRX. Well, that's the thing, yeah. If you'd spent the rest on accessories and some like heavy, because you can buy like heavy metal wheels and that, can't you? Yeah, that. but there is accessories for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It said like scan that QR code on the box. Yeah, and the it's website, got like a, an aluminium roof rack with a light bar. Yeah. Um, fake winch and tool set and that kind of stuff. It's cool because like a, a real life 4x4 tyre track is quite a nice size trail. Yeah. Well, there's like a goofy, goofy pond thing. Oh, it's not actually wet, we can go through there. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same fake car. So that's the thing. that's the battery flat. But to be fair, we didn't actually charge it. Yeah, it just says it came out of the box. So yeah. and it was only a two thousand milliamp anyway, which is like yeah, run so transmitters on there. So we've got another one. So that's cool. Obviously, any normal person would have actually charged the battery before they go out of the woods. But we've got loads of batteries, and we're not normal. And we're definitely not normal. <laughs> we haven't even put the aerial tube in. Look, that's like oh, yeah. a wee look. Too much of a rush to get out and play. 
Oh, and that appears to just come out because I didn't even think about it. It does. I didn't, I didn't feel any. But what happens is it's, it's torn that thing off there. Oh. So you've got to be careful you take the body off because it will just tear that little bit of paper that's there to hold that on. Yeah. But again, easy fix, not a major problem. I have to say, for the money, I think that's pretty decent. I like it. Well, I said the suspension's maybe a bit firm, they're a bit wobbly. Yeah, but. It was a bit fiddly getting those on earlier, but. Yeah, but also a bit of wobble here and there on like parts that aren't axles and that. It all absorbs stuff. It helps, doesn't it? I think it actually looks quite good as well. I don't... Yeah. Obviously, you've got more obvious like body pins than a TRX. They're hidden away in the roof rack on that. But, um... Only by chance, really. Yeah. But... yeah. If you bear in mind what the TRX was, 480 quid. The light kit, which is extra, was another 80 quid. Yeah. And this has body and bumper lights, so... And it's got a few other oh, yeah, trinkets on there as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit more sprightly now. Yeah. So you're way faster than me on low ratio now, aren't you? Yeah, it's still so weird. I'm, I'm used to sort of looking so far ahead before I punch a throttle. Yeah. And this is just like, oh no, wait, I'm done. <laughs> Push off. We ready? Yeah. Take up the slack. Not much in it. No. The thing is, this FTX has got loads of articulation available in the suspension, but because I think it's too tight, you don't see it. Yeah. It's not really using it. No. So it might just literally be, yeah. it just literally needs a bit more setting up, doesn't it? Other than that, it's, I reckon it's pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> the tyres seem to work well. Yeah, tyres are really not, nice. They're not Tires. Tires are nice and soft. The standard um, tracks tyres, they're not bad, but I don't think they're so good in the really wet mud. Mm. They just they just clog up. I think that's why you cut those little divots out and they sort of perform better then. No, I I haven't quite I keep toying with the idea and oh, yeah. toying with cloying. I'm not driving through that. <laughs> no. That's the kind of thing I do in a real one, but even that looks a bit sketchy. The colour of it, what's lurking in there? The home of the bog monster. You're attempting to get over the log. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. I think I had the camera pointing the wrong way. Well, there you go. That made it look easy. The lightweight helps. I think also this has got more of like a V shape to the underside of the chassis. Yours is quite straight. So getting bellied up on things, because I know from the real life, that's yeah, probably it's my car, because I can't fit huge tyres. I've only got a little engine. So, like, I get bellied up. But then I have this suspension quite low. Hmm. So if you think about, yeah, it could be quite a bit higher if I wanted to. That pivot point in the where, where this doesn't doesn't droop at all, this one, mm. because it's so firm. I think so. That. Speed crawling. Yeah, yeah, it's going. Nothing stopping it. Look at it go. It's pretty. It just cleared all. Oh, well, I wasn't even doing anything then. It's 
I would say, apart from like the selective capabilities where you can turn things on and off, I don't think this would embarrass itself in a no, complete not at all. I don't think capability wise, I think it's oh, I see where we are now. absolutely fine. I don't think there's any capability issues with it. Um, so I've looked at the other route back so often, it's just it's only got the 380 motor and it's just it just wasn't quite it's, that. And this a, is that yeah, it's a 380 and there's not room for a 540 because you're no. up against the chassis rail and all the cool shells didn't fit it because it was like little it's, bit a bit, it's a bit too short. The only thing that would fit it, I think, possibly is one of the Tamiya Jimny shell. Yeah, I looked at that, yeah, but it's got a combined receiver and ESC. Yeah. Which is again a bit limiting and it comes with a, small, a, a mini lipo, doesn't it, I think? Yeah, they're like, what the, uh, they're like what the mauler runs out Yeah. So it come, it's kind of 112 scale, but not. I don't know what, I, I can't figure out what they're trying to be. But yeah. I really do like these wheels. They look cool, don't they? Yeah, they do. They look like real wheels. Yeah. Proper steel wheels. Oh, I'd point yeah. at them while we're talking about them. They look funky. I'm quite impressed with that. I think, I think they're good. carried over from the other Outback with bigger tyres on though, because Charles' is one that's got these wheels. Yeah, think, yeah. The one that briefly features on our Facebook page. No, yeah. the only thing for me is just cosmetics, which are easy to change. Like you've got Land Rover shaped lights that stick out. This has got lights, but then it's got stickers that are like light clusters. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that doesn't affect it. It's just for me, like the trashes body shells like nobody's business a crawler's the one time i can invest in looks and not totally ruin it yeah i've added i've added stuff to that so it looks a bit more real i suppose yeah but the only thing i'd change on that really at the minute from what i've seen is i'd, I'd fiddle with the setup yeah try and get a bit more but then uh, again even if you did dial more steering in you're probably going to roll it a load more perhaps dial some more steering in but more importantly i think i want it run i think i want it a lot softer yeah so the TRX is probably a better car yeah. for a, a, a bunch of questionable reasons, but, and this is the crutch of it, you won't have any less fun with, with, with one of them. No, and I'd have more fun being able to afford to come out and use it because I'd have some money for <laughs> If you just tap it over, I might be able to recover it. Oh, genius. Powers in the golf cart in the corridor to be put like a thousand points there. No! Oh, hey. I need Spider Man arms. Go, go, gadget arms. And now I'm going to shred your shell. Back into it. You push me down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now this is cool. This is like the cardinal sin of off-roading is the side hill. Yeah. But as I'm actually turning into it, it's not doing badly. Yeah, so actually the... trying to drive up. Ooh. That's respectable though. But then the body shell's really light, which helps, because this does keep the centre of gravity low. It does. To summarise, I reckon that was pretty good. Yeah, I'm well impressed with it. It's my uh, first taste of crawling, but it did everything the TRX could do. In fact, it did some things the TRX struggled with. So, yeah, happy days. <laughs>